what is the status of a dead body? Now, in, in, a, in a way, the dead body should have been considered in some way as property. Because the dead body is dead. As such, it is, it is, uh, it is no, not in itself uh, considered as a, human, as a human being. Now, here comes a whole series which makes, which makes life, of, life or, 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 or med medicine difficult for, for a number of people. There comes uh, within the Jewish law a set of laws that became for obvious and possibly very, very ancient uh, way of looking at things, very important, and that is even though within the Jewish law and the Jewish point of view, death is by no means a holy situation. A death body is, is basically considered as defiled, as a source of, a source of uh, defilement, the, the opposite of holiness. A, a basically anything dead, and if, if one enlarges it, even anything sick, has a sense of defilement about it, while life is, is in a way, uh, the, the, the only thing that can, can touch holiness. Now, because of that, the dead body is, doesn't become holy. And there is no holiness attached to the dead body. But here comes another consideration, which is, in, in a strange way, not connected to death as a, per se, but connected into a, a very different consideration, and that was there is there is the point of the human body belonged once to a human being. The human body was connected with the human being. And in a certain way, I should look upon the dead body as I am looking at a defenseless person, a completely defenseless person. Now, I have no right to damage somebody that is completely defenseless, and that is in, in the, 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 the source, basically, for, for, for uh, keeping any kind of a, of a relationship to a human body, as a dead human body, would be what is considered kvod habriyot, honoring, honoring creatures, honoring, honoring people. And so it is not a special special and a very spe separate body of law that deals with death or gives death any special position, just the opposite. Because the dead person is completely and entirely defenseless, any abuse to, to, that, to the body is therefore put into the same category of, of mm -hmm of misusing and abusing a defenseless person. And that is basically the source of the honor given to the dead body is not because the dead body attains any special, any special right, but because there is nobody to defend this body. One is born in the image of God. Therefore, there is some respect due to the form itself. And this form should be kept as, as it is, as far as, as one can keep it in honor. Now, 
against such a consideration, there is first and, and foremost uh, the, the consideration used many times, many a time in medicine, which has to be dealt with in a, if one asks, uh, deals with the problem as a, as a more practical, on a more practical level, uh, the question, the question of, is the autopsy or the gift of a certain part of the body, how important is it for the living? Now, in any case, when it is a matter of life and death, there is no question whatsoever that the law of saving life, pikuach nefesh, will push aside any other consideration, including that of giving, giving, uh, being respectful to a human body. Now, incidentally, even though practically it is not done, and the, the legal system perhaps won't, won't, won't allow it, in that sense, again, the family has quite a little say. Theoretically, if there is a, a, a problem of life and death, and as explained another time, a, even an important part of the body is considered as pikuach nefesh, I mean, as a, as a danger to life, then theoretically, there shouldn't be a point about asking anybody's permission to do it which is, in some places, I suppose is done anyway, uh, even though it is, it is not the legal assumption of the, say, of the country. But, but uh, in, in, in a certain way, for example, if taking the, the, uh, a part of the eye of a dead person will sa save the sight in the eye of a, of a living person, then it should take preference, precedence, very clearly, over other considerations, which may be the distaste of, of, having, of having an eye taken out, or, or whatever. Now, there is the, the, the position of the, of the family there is, is interesting, because, again, the basic considerations, which are very very different from what is, what is uh, the sometimes popular uh, notions, is the family, okay. it helps. I mean, <laughs> it will go together with the general the theme of this, uh, of this time. I mean, so. So, uh, the, the, the position of, of family, relatives, in, in such considerations is strange uh, and sometimes misunderstood. Relatives don't own a human body. Not even when, when the deceased is a close relative of theirs, including, of course, uh, when they are the heirs of the deceased or the parents of the deceased. In that sense, it doesn't make much of a difference because the, uh, the children may inherit property from the parents, but they don't inherit his body as, as said, it is not a part of, of, of that person himself. But uh, there comes the, the point of the family has a certain concern with the dead body as it has with the living body. 